What up, Delconners? I, I don't think I'm being dramatic when I say this, but I'm just going to make a random generalization. I believe that at least every single day, one person, at the very least one person, stops being free to play. And sometimes it just can't be helped because sometimes the deals are just too good. One such deal is now fast approaching a global, and I believe JP as well, with this new special offer that is coming up for the Daily Capsule 30 Days. Now, I'm making this video not to tempt you free to play players, but I'm doing this to look out for those who do spend on the game and are looking for some good deals because this is one of the best deals you're ever going to get when it comes to buying Dragonstones for a good price. So if you are free to play and you have resisted all temptation up until this point, I have all the faith in the world that you will continue to resist. I still have the utmost respect and reverence for those of you who don't spend a single dime on this game. If you know who you are and you can say without a shadow of a doubt, you have never spent a single cent on this game and you never plan to, let me know in the comments down below. And you know what? That's your subscriber challenge for today. If you are one of those people, the, the paragon of discipline, you got to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, um, this is going to be a very good deal that's going to be coming up for the Daily Capsule 30-day subscription. If you guys don't know what this is, this is basically like a uh, uh, an extra login bonus. So this is just a screenshot of what it looks like for my game. Uh, and I actually posted this eight months ago because we got this during the seven-year anniversary as well. They were offering a 30-day stone subscription at half price. So normally in the US, it is 10 US dollars. So half of that would be five US dollars. And the cool thing about this is that the daily capsule for 30 days gives you three dragon stones per day for 30 days. So that gives you 90 dragon stones. You're paying 10 bucks for 90 dragon stones. You compare that to the normal prices that you see, it's unquestionably one of the best deals you're ever going to get. On top of that, you get the extra five here for day one bonus. So that's 95 dragon stones for 30 days for five or for 10 bucks. And now they're going to be offering it for half of that. So they're doing this for the Sand Day celebration, just to commemorate, I guess, once again, another joint celebration with Global and JP, and also to try to get more people on this plan. Because if people can start to, you know, pay for this subscription, then the chance of them retaining you afterwards will go up. Even if the price reverts back to $10, people will get a taste for the deals that they have. And they'll be like, you know what? I want to keep doing this. So uh, unfortunately, you know, for those of you who are free to play, I'm sorry for the temptation. But for those of you who are looking for good deals, this is it. Because you're going to be spending half the price that you would normally spend on a 30-day subscription. Basically getting almost two multis worth for the cost of five US dollars or whatever that's equivalent to in your region. So this is going to be available, um, I think for the next like month ish because i know some people there's obviously going to be some people whose subscriptions end like a week after this begins so then you might be wondering oh man am i going to miss out on this i believe they're going to allow for everyone to have an opportunity to go for this um they're not gonna you know give up money because of an inconvenient thing that is a subscription that's already set so i believe that this will be around for a little while let's actually just read through the fine print here during the event period, you can purchase daily capsule 30 days and special price. You get five extra dragon stones upon purchase and a total of 95 dragon stones. Cool. You must log into the game to obtain. Daily capsule subscriptions cannot be purchased repeatedly. You can extend the subscription or purchase a new one after the subscription period of your current one ends. So, okay. Uh, daily capsule 30 days can be purchased at a special price that is different from the regular one. You can only purchase one of them during the sale period. So, you can only do this once. So you will be getting basically almost a hundred dragon stones for five US dollars once, which is still good. You can purchase the daily capsule with a special prize. Dragon stones can be attained every day. The delivery will reset daily. Please know the daily capsule subscription cannot be subscription. Subscription cannot be transferred between operating systems. The oh, okay, yeah. You know what? That's very important. You cannot buy the subscription and then change from your iPhone to your Android. Don't do that. Dragonstones obtainable will be sent to you directly. Dragonstones. Blah, blah, blah. For more information, please check the announcement about Daily Capsule. Pl uh, please know the merchandise. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, it doesn't actually show here, so that's interesting. Uh, let me actually go to my game and check. Let me actually switch over to my game here. And let's see if it shows in here. So Daily Capsule. Um, It doesn't show. Man, stupid. All right, well, you know, to put it into perspective... You would normally pay 45 US dollars to get 91 dragon stones. So, I mean, that right there just proves it. You're spending an eighth, a ninth of this to basically get the same amount of rewards. So it speaks for itself. 
Uh, I don't know where they're asking me to look for about. That's one thing I just hate about businesses in general. For more information, check this. Why don't you just tell it to me right there? Anyway, uh, that's all they got. So I uh, wanted to let you guys know this is going to be dropping for both Global and JP, I believe. And that is part of why we have a server maintenance coming up. So this weekend, things might be a little bit slow on Dokkan, which I know I'm. it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, if you guys are bored, I'm going to give you a couple of things that you guys can do in the meantime. But we're going to be getting a maintenance on Monday. So from then, three hours after reset until the next day. So for about five hours, we're going to be maintenance. And notice how it says we will close the server and shop for maintenance. Normally, it just says close the server, but it's also saying the shop because they have to implement this new deal, which they have only just teased in the in-game news section. They haven't actually done anything into the shop yet. So that will be probably the main reason why they're doing this. But then also they'll be, you know, bringing in whatever final assets they need for the upcoming EZAs. We've got four EZAs coming up. We've got the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. We've also got the Super Saiyan 2, the other Super Saiyan Bardocks that we've got for the sub EZAs. They're all going to be dropping. They're also going to be giving us the, uh, what is it? Chain Battle. And is that all? Chain Battle and, oh yeah, Collection of Epic Battles. So yeah, we're going to be getting a whole lot of stuff coming up. So if those assets are not already in the game, uh, whatever's left over will be brought in alongside the shop maintenance. So there you have it, folks. Get ready. And if you're really, really bored, this is actually something that I've been working on right now. Not not buying Dragonstones. Um, if you guys are interested in making your Team Bardock and Team Ginyu units much better, let me just show you how this works now. They've revamped this where you don't even get tickets anymore. You don't have to take those tickets to then go into the like ticket summons for their skill orbs and then randomly draw. You just run through the event and you will get skill orbs. So for example, I am doing the Ginyu Force run right now because I'm trying to get some nice orbs for the Ginyu Force characters. And each and every run that I've been doing, I've been getting some nice skill orbs. They're EX skill orbs, so they can be exchangeable. The goal for me personally is to have basically like five of every possible version of a skill orb. That way I have the maximum amount of customization available for that unit. And keep in mind, folks, this does not work for any random Ginyu Force character. It only works for the five free to play TURs for Ginyu, five free to play TURs for Team Bardock. The LR leader skill, the LR free to play unit that leads them doesn't work for either category. No Dokkan Festival summonable unit will also work. None of that will work. But look at that. In one run, I got one level two critical EX skill, and then I got three critical level three bronze EX for the Ginyu Force. I have 24 copies of these. I know it's a lot. I'm trying to farm out the higher versions. So now all I got to do is go into my hidden potential. And if I want to work on Raccoon, well, I have the option to substitute a level three critical or even a level three dodge. These guys are sort of breaking the mold when it comes to the normal skill orbs that we get. As I mentioned before, normally a bronze goes up to level two. Here, they go up to level three because these free to play units are on the lower end in terms of like how they scale up to the you know modern day unit. So they're trying to give the free to play units a little bit more of an oomph. So that's what this does. For the bronze now, you can get level fives. Um, you can even get like combo skill orbs, I believe in the silver. Actually, I don't know if it's in the silver, uh, but then if you go all the way to the gold, you can get a level five critical and additional in one EX skill orb, or you could go even further and get to a level six, which I think I do have, or I might have already used it. Yeah, I think I've already used it. Let me actually check my Ginyu Force team. Was it here? No, not there. Not there. Who's got the level six? Did I give it? Oh, here we go. Yeah. So this Goldo's got a level six additional skill orb. So this is the sort of thing that you should be farming out. It costs you 12 stamina per run. You know, depending on how experienced you are in the game, how much stamina you have, you can do a ton of runs. Definitely do this. And if you're bored out of your mind, you don't even have to worry about link leveling. Just do that. You will get your two free to play teams set. That way you run them on the 200% lead. If you've got the friend Bardock or if you've got your own AGL Ginyu, these guys are going to be so much better off now. It's going to be worth it. Trust me. So do that if you're bored. Use the weekend to basically just bolster up your free to play teams. And then come Monday, we will get the maintenance and then we will jump into the EZA's chain battle clash and all that stuff. And we can then move on and get ready for sand day. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this new subscription deal thing? Are you guys going to be buying the half off for the 30 day subscription? Are you a free to play player that is still going to resist the temptation or are you going to give in? 
I want to know what you guys think about the deal. What are sort of the deals that you guys tend to look out for when it comes to these sorts of celebrations? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you'll let you know I want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and remember to save responsibly.